Mastering Subtraction with Estimation and Rounding Hello, everyone. We're here today to explore an interesting and useful aspect of basic math in English. Subtraction Strategies, Focusing on Estimation and Rounding. These methods can simplify our calculations and improve our numerical understanding. So, let's get started. Estimation is a quick way of finding an approximate answer to a math problem. This approach can be handy when you want to quickly understand about how much something might be, without needing the exact number. Here's an example. If we want to subtract 43 from 98, it could be a bit tricky to do it in your head. But if we estimate and round 43 up to 50, we can quickly see that 98 minus 50 is about 48. So, we know the exact answer is somewhere around 48. Rounding is a mathematical process where you make a number simpler but keep its value close to what it was. It's an essential skill for estimation. Numbers can be rounded to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, and so forth. For example, if you round 43 to the nearest 10, you would get 40 because 43 is closer to 40 than it is to 50. Remember, if the number you are rounding is followed by 5 or more, round up. If it's less than 5, round down. Now let's bring rounding and estimation together. When subtracting, you can round numbers to the nearest 10, 100, or whatever makes it easier to estimate the answer. Consider the problem, 762 to 296. It may be hard to subtract these numbers in your head, but if you round them to the nearest hundred, they become 800 to 300, which is obviously 500. Now you know the actual answer is close to 500, which can be very helpful. That wraps up our brief exploration of subtraction strategies with estimation and rounding. I hope this video has shown you how these techniques can make subtraction easier and faster. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing these strategies until they become second nature. Happy learning, and see you next time!